welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. In today's video, I'm going to show you an easy way to store your snowblower so that it starts with no problem next winter. Okay, actually there are two easy ways to store your snowblower. It doesn't have to be hard. But I'll tell you one thing. If you do it now, when winter time comes around and you go to start your snowblower, it's going to start up right away and run. So the first thing you can do is treat your fuel. And how you can do that is with some fuel stabilizer. I have here some Motormaster brand. You can use any other brand. There's Stabil, I believe it's called. And I also have a Briggs & Stratton stabilizer. And what you'll want to do is add some of this stabilizer to your fuel. Now, depending on how much fuel you have in your snowblower, you just look at the back and there's instructions on how much stabilizer to add to your fuel. So once you've added the stabilizer to your fuel, you'll want to start up your snowblower and let it run for maybe a minute just to get that stabilizer and fuel mixture through the system and into your carburetor. You want to make sure it gets through everywhere so that the fuel is treated properly for the summer season for storage. Now I've done this method before and it works really well. But I'm going to show you the way I'm going to do it from now on, the way, a way that I know will work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the fuel from my snowblower. Now I have a bit of fuel in this gas can, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this clamp off, take this fuel line off of this connection here, and I'm going to open up the fuel valve and let the gas run into a container. So here I just got to take the hose off this connection. I guess you could call it something like a, a petcock because it shuts the fuel off. And I got a little bit on my fingers there, fuel. So I'll just drain this fuel in this container right here. And all the fuel will come out of the gas tank, the fuel tank, and into, into this container. And I'll just reuse this gas in another motorized machine. Or I'll just put it back into a gas can. So what I did was is I drained the fuel tank and there's just a splash in there so I'll just put a little bit of this stabilizer in there just to take care of that little bit of fuel in there. We'll put the cap back on and then we'll start it up. Okay so now that the fuel is out of the tank we're going to try and start it up and see if we can run the rest of the fuel out of the carburetor. But if not, like I said, I do have a little bit of stabilizer in here if it doesn't start. So perfect, it started and it ran out of fuel, so now I know that the carburetor is out of fuel. Okay, now that the fuel system is taken care of for storage, now what we're going to do is we're going to take off or take out the spark plug and we're going to spray a bit of engine storage in there. And this will keep the cylinder walls and the piston and the valves from corrosion. It'll help keep it treated. Okay, to put the engine storage spray in the cylinder, we have to take the spark plug out. Okay, so on this engine here, this is a Tecumseh engine, and most engines are basically the same. Your cylinder, your piston is over on this side and your valves are on this side so you want to tilt your nozzle of your can in this way as much as you can and just give it a quick squirt you don't want to put too much in there now you can grab your pull handle your pull start and just move that piston up and down a couple times that's all it takes 
Now we'll put the piston back in. Okay, so another trick I like to do is to pull the, pull the handle so that the piston is at top dead center. And how you get that is you pull on this until you feel resistance from the compression. Right there. So that means the piston is all the way at the top of the cylinder wall and there's no that there isn't a lot of air space in there for corrosion. The cylinder walls are protected. So there it is. I showed you two easy ways to store your snowblower. One method was with putting some fuel stabilizer in your fuel and running the engine for about a minute to get that fuel stabilizer all through the system into your carburetor. And the second method was, which I like the best, is to drain all the fuel out of the gas tank and start up the snow blower and let all the fuel get burned out of your carburetor as well. So you have no fuel in there whatsoever. Now, I added a little bit of stabilizer, just a splash, just to make sure that I'm totally covered. And then add some engine storage spray into your cylinder wall. And basically that's it. That's all you need to do to store your snow blower for winter. So now if you'd be so kind to hit the subscribe button, when winter comes, I'll have a video for you on how to get your snowblower ready for winter. I want to thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for when I have a new video coming out. And be safe and have a great day.